Well, uh, I have been making possibly a big deal about the fact that the exam assesses your experience. And you are thinking, why is this such a big deal? Is it just because he is old? And yes, I am old. I do not just have white hair because I work in security. Uh, I, uh, kids, I'm surrounded by kids and always have been. I, uh, when I got into uh, security, uh, when I first got into researching computer viruses, I was not a young punk myself. I, uh, yeah, I'm old, okay. Uh, but no, um, experience, huh, experience is what gives you the right perspective, the right viewpoint, the right attitude uh, in terms of what you need to do in security on a professional basis. Uh, and as we say, uh, sometimes sorrowfully, um, judgment, good judgment comes from experience. Experience, unfortunately, mostly comes from bad judgment. So, uh, but still, you know, what is it that, that is um, important about experience? And this is, this is hard to say. Uh, you know, <laughs> wisdom? Uh, I mean, we, we tend to say, you know, information is organized data. Uh, wisdom is organized life. Um, you, you need to have the perspective. You need to have, uh, well, you need to have the experience. This, this gets very tautological very quickly, but, um, well, one, one story. Um, I was teaching, uh, I had, uh, actually a really, really terrific class. Um, these, these people, uh, it was in Sydney, Australia, as it happened. It was, it was absolutely terrific. We had a ton of fun in, in that particular seminar. And there was one guy who, he was young. Uh, he was, he was probably the youngest in the class. But boy, I mean, he was sharp. He knew the answers, you know, when we went through the practice questions, he had them, you know, pretty much cold, uh, with a you know, few singular exceptions. Um, and he was, uh, uh, you know, he knew his stuff. He knew all the technical stuff. And he kept on asking, where is the book? What book do I study? so that I make sure I get all the right answers, all the answers correct on the exam. And I kept telling him, no, there isn't one single book. I mean, there is, uh, certainly, uh, I bow to no one in my admiration of Ross Anderson's security engineering. And, you know, really go and get that, uh, buy that, keep it for you your own library, because you will use it again and again. It will be invaluable in uh, your professional life. Um, but if you are too poor as a student to uh, go and get it, um, he's, he's put it up on the web. You know, the first uh, two versions, uh, the, the third version is the current version, but the, the first two versions are out on uh, the internet, and yeah, you, know, uh, you know you can you can download it. You can you know you don't have to buy it um, if you if you can't afford it. But boy, is it ever good! Um, you know and that is the best single text. Uh, now there's there's the Information Security Handbook, but the Information Security Handbook is rather misnamed. It's not a handbook. It's huge. Pretty much all the volumes are huge. And the other thing is that it's not a single volume. It's 
um, you know, a bunch of additions and volumes over time. And over time, you build up an enormous stock of articles in uh, this book. It's, it's kind of like a, um, a periodical of security in hardcover. Uh, very, very valuable resource there. But uh, no, you want a single volume, uh, go and get security engineering. Um, anyways, I, I have uh, gotten sidetracked. I tend to do that. Uh, anyways, back to this guy in the seminar in Sydney. And uh, one day we were arguing again about what book do I need to get? To, you know what that will have all the answers in it and I I suddenly realized talking to him like I said he was sharp but he didn't have the experience to know how valuable experience is and unfortunately that that's just a truth um, and uh, you will not yourselves, uh, you know, if, if you haven't, if you aren't old like me and taking the exam like me when you're old, uh, you don't understand uh, what experience is and what the value of experience is and why uh, it's so hard to define it. Uh, there is insecurity at a professional level more of art than science to it. You, you get a feel. Uh, one of the things that it is actually, uh, uh, I can give you one, one instance. When you write the exam, uh, and this is uh, another uh, suggestion in terms of, of what you do, how, how you write the exam, um, don't overthink it. Uh, that's, that's one thing that happens a lot, that, that people... You know, put down an answer, and then they, oh, wait a minute, you know, could it be, might they have been trying, are they trying to fool me? They aren't trying to fool you. Um, but, very often, when you are writing the exam, your first reaction is very often the right one, if, if indeed you have at least five years experience. Uh, and so, you know, if you, you know, if an answer jumps out at you, um, you know, read it carefully, read the, the question carefully, read the, the possible options carefully, but generally speaking, you know, uh, the answer that jumps out at you, that your first answer is the right answer. Anyway, good luck.